Why do I look so interested in what this man has to say? Stick around and we'll give you seven storylines and stats we learned at Esco World 2023 that'll make you feel like you were there, even if you weren't. Now, when we landed in Orlando, it was perhaps unsurprisingly raining. April flowers bring May showers here, I guess. I tried to wait it out, enjoyed a Cuban sandwich, and watched the planes in the airport, totally unaware that this humid Florida rain, it was gonna be with us the entire trip. Although, as you'll learn, it actually provided a tremendous backdrop for the gators, which all of us encountered courtesy of Esco, and we'll get to that too. Meanwhile, two weeks before in St. Louis, there was no rain. Rather, we're nearly ready for some magic. We had Magic Johnson dropping dimes of wisdom on the eager crowd at D Scoop 2023. Uh, talked about the show's circular floor design provided an excellent, extrovert approved environment for yet another epic event in the labels and labeling world. Remember, all the HP heads were there, giving us, and therefore you, a tour of the new 200K digital press. And if you're not here for the serious stuff, Stay tuned for the end, where we'll journey through Orlando's Gatorland, courtesy of Esco and the bus ride home, where a Keanu Reeves movie had me in literal tears. I'll tell you which kind of tears when we get there. But first, to give you like the overview on flexible packages. Avram Ilus of HP gave us this excellent tour of the 200K digital press. First, he walked us over to a presentation screen, gave the press a brief but in-depth overview of the flexible packaging market, and then okay, we have the, uh... the tour began. The 200K digital press is made to increase productivity and provide an on-demand delivery with no minimum orders, all while using unique designs, reducing energy consumption, minimizing waste, no surprise there, sustainability a big focus. And I really think this machine delivers. Esco World touched on sustainability quite a bit too, we cover this more in the next issue of our magazine, so stay tuned. We will, we will try to manage. We have a lot of excitement, as you can see. Meanwhile, here we were again, and I do believe this was the first showing of the press outside of Israel. This bad boy features a 30% increase in speed, 45% boost in productivity compared to the HP Indigo 25K, and we had Avram breaking it down before a media Barrage! In the back, this cabinet opens up, showcasing the widest available range of Electro inks. Machines also designed to print high coverage packages with white on the majority of individual substrates, both surface and reverse. A lot of the efficiency, of course, coming down to the software baked in. HP Indigo's Print OS software automation includes capabilities for batching, ganging, and variable data paired with faster and more accurate color matching and workflow. The educational sessions at both shows, Esco World and DScoop, included hands-on opportunities to learn all about that software. Meanwhile, other panelists discussed the usual hot topics and provided insight on the future of the industry. I'll say this, it really stood up to the test as a notably well-run event on its own. Two weeks later, so did Esco World 2023. First and foremost, we have to say it. Esco was extremely generous with the accommodations and we had labels and labeling have to thank the entire team there for this. The event hotel was glorious. The Gaylord Palms Resort, featuring a glass ceiling, natural looking walkways, waterfalls and ponds with beautiful wildlife, even koi fish who spend their entire day scavenging for the same bits of non-existent food, never stopping twice to ponder the meaning of life. Ignorance really is bliss. As promised, here are the seven most important storylines and stats we learned at the show. Esco World 2023. Number one, personalization and sustainability take the lead. Guys, this year was all about brands becoming really agile and doing everything they can to create a more personal bond with their consumers. The second storyline, consumer behavior dictates the trends. The changes in how we all live have had a massive influence on brands. Of course they have, and how they package their products too. For example, after the pandemic, we saw consumers focusing more on personal experiences and resilience. Number three, it's a local and intentional world. Consumers 
are all about supporting local businesses now and making more intentional spending choices. Number four, retro and vintage packaging is back in style. Packaging designs that take us back to the good old times, they're all the rage now. Our fifth storyline, the unboxing experience and digital twin technology, which I actually had never heard of until this go world. With online shopping growing like crazy, unboxing has become a huge trend and Actually, no surprise, 62% of people who will watch unboxing videos, well, I guess they plan to buy the product. Number six, technology and cloud are packaging's new best friends, or they're getting there, at least. 48% of brand owners already have their systems in the cloud. Number seven, automation, sustainability, and consumer preferences. A whopping 73% of suppliers believe automation will have the biggest impact on packaging. 71% of consumers and nearly 90% of brands think that sustainable packaging is super important. In issue three of Labels and Labeling magazine, we'll do a deep dive into the current state of sustainability legislation. The true visuals of Esco World 2023 though, they came at the very end of the show. And I'm gonna play for you a video I actually edited for my family and friends on my iPhone, covering the convention's group outing to Gatorland, complete with the promised Keanu Reeves mention at the end. Enjoy. And so our trip begins with more rain. Who would have thought? Three straight days, but we get to Gatorland in peace. It's cool. And all these eyes peering out of the water, no shocker there either, but still cool to see. You know what? I was glad it, I was glad it was raining though. It made it more authentic. You know what I mean? Oh, this albino was beautiful. Had a pretty funny interaction with her and her boyfriend here though. What were their names? Trezos and Mary Kate. Not sure which one is Mary Kate, but the way he was looking at me, I'm gonna assume this one is Mary Kate. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy, it's okay. Look, he's starting to shift around. Then we had this flamingo area, which was cool. But what the hell is this one doing? Seriously. And then we had the Cuban crocodiles. So freaking cute. Look at them. Everyone was saying the same thing. Everyone wanted one. I don't blame them. Oh, just a picture? <laughs> Definitely not holding that. No way. He's great. I'll probably I'll probably drop him. You can touch him too if you want. I'm trying to get him a nice. He's so pretty. Safety distance. Oh wow. Right? They're not really slimy. They're all smooth. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, scaly. Wow. Thank you. You ready? No, they have different sizes. Yeah, so this yeah. is all the same. Yeah, I'll hand them off. This is the same size now. And so that was that. Great trip. And what a way to cap it off. A Keanu Reeves movie where, of course, everyone dies in this massive explosion except Keanu Reeves. I'm dead. Wow. Awesome trip though, hope you enjoyed this.